So who is the best game show host ever? And both lists have different number ones. Mm. Wow. Mm. And now there are some there are some there are some similarities. What are the well? I wonder what the metrics are. For for me, I, I understand that it's like personal. I guess it's all subjective. Yeah, for me, it's super personal and it's and it's bias. And I, I'm not the I'm not the authority. I don't know all of them from back in the day. I don't know the '60s and '70s ones. I'm sure there's probably like some crazy crazy good one that everybody knows, but wasn't on for that many years. Or something. I know some of the names that are on this one list. Uh, I never watched those particular shows. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I, th there's probably somebody you're going to say, I'm going to go, oh, yeah, yeah, that I don't know, because it's just not my it's not my wheelhouse. Uh, who would say your number one is? My number one, hands down, is Alex Trebek. What? Alex so, Trebek is on both lists. When did you become a fan of him? I, I've, I've real, I, I've, Jeopardy is my favorite game. Shut it's my favorite game show ever. Um, I like his I like his delivery. I like him as a person. I liked everything about how he did it so much. In fact, Jeopardy is still my favorite game show and the best one I've ever seen. And I haven't seen one since Alex left. Alex Trebek is number seven on the Best Life Online list and number two on the Watch Mojo list. Yeah. Wow. Seven and two. Yeah. That's interesting. Seven. I figured yeah. he'd be in the top three in both of those. What was he? Uh, I, I met the original guy. What was his name? I forgot. He came to our middle school. In the 90s. The original uh, yeah. Jeopardy host? Yeah, what was his name? Because he, he, did, he did Jeopardy for 34 years. Dang. 1984 until 2020. Art Fleming. Art I Fleming. I believe uh, it was Art Fleming who came to, the, uh, wow. came to the school back in the day. Your favorite, Rafe. Who is the <laughs> number one um, game show host of all time? <clears throat> I think one of the lists will be Bob Barker, which I agree with. Bob Barker is own. Bob Barker is number one on the Watch Mojo list. Yeah, from The Price Is Right. You just can't. That dude was. And number six on the other list. The dude was slick with that long skinny microphone, dude. <laughs> and uh, heck of a fight. Always too. ten. Always had a good and like real dry, real dry sense of humor. Like the guy, obviously. Uh, but my dark horse candidate was Richard Dawson. Richard Dawson. The old family feud kisser guy. Oh, the one that kissed all the little... He, yeah. the, you can watch yes. a YouTube loop of Richard Dawson kissing all the contestants. It's yes. hilarious. Creep. Richard Dawson yeah. was number four on the Watch Mojo list. But not even on the other list? Not even on the other list. So wow. Richard Dawson from the match game, who was f flirtatious. He was uh, touchy-feely. <laughs> yeah. He's the best. He so was the feud. Like, if you made a... Like a Ron Burgundy of game shows, it was Richard Dawson, yes. dude. Love that guy. Could never and he was in Running now. Man. Yeah, he was in a couple. He was. Yeah, he, he was the uh, dirty he was dozen. The, yeah, he was the. Yeah, he was an actor first. Yeah, he was an actor first. Oh, you know, know who I thought was I thought was a great game show host that was going to continue and be like ultra ultra famous and didn't was Mark Summers from Double Dare. Yeah. Yeah, that was my. He does a lot. He pick. is a big producer on the. Is he uh, okay? The maybe Food Network. Maybe or at least he back. was. That I didn't was know my that. number. I thought he'd for sure be on there because no. he. Oh, you were saying Mark Summers? Yeah, well, he was your number one. I'm sorry, I didn't even take that. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't think anybody was thinking about that. Oh, you did? I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't hear you. <laughs> um, well, there's also I think one that we're forgetting. He's done two different shows now. Is Drew Carey? No, nope, really Drew Carey did not make and the then, top. Uh, Pat Sajak is the king, man. He's the number one of both lists. Pat Sajak is number eight on the, the one list and number three on the other list. He's a great follow on socials, man. That eight and goof. three, yeah, yeah, he does. Man, Pat Sajak's is... number three on the Watch Mojo list and number How can eight Pat on the... Not, not be at top least top ten on each on list. One. Eight on one, ten on the other. This is one of those pretentious lists, that, that one Chuck list. Chuck Woolery. With everybody from the 50s Ooh. Chuck Woolery did not make OG Wheel of Fortune host. Chuck Willer did not make either list. He did a lot of the dating stuff. Did Bozo make it? His show's pretty good. Man, who are we missing? Who are we missing as far as the big ones? Well, there's like old school, like Wink Martindale. and Wink Martindale was an honorable mention from uh, Tic Tac Doe. <clears throat> ben Stein was good. When Ben Stein's money. Uh, who was the uh, OG Let's Make a Deal? Not Wayne Brady, but the original guy, Monty something. Monty Hall. Monty Hall. He's number three on the yeah. Best Life Online list. Yeah, he had he had. Host a of Let's Make a Deal from its premiere in 63 and continuing on into the 80s. Uh, family Feud, what's his face? Um, um, Ray Combs? Nope. 
Didn't Steve Harvey. It. Steve Harvey. Thank nope. you. Oh, he's awesome. Is Ray Combs the one? He's with great. He hasn't been doing Roy Combs. Sad so. ending. Yeah, I guess Ray. So. I thought it was Ray Combs. Ray Combs. He was yes. like the '90s. Family he wound up killing right? himself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he was. A, yeah, he was '80s, '90s. Ray Combs. Yeah, he was good. I thought so. All right, I will tell you on the best life online list, Dick Clark was their number one game show host. Oh, cool. his name. Dick Clark. What did he host? How hosted squares? Pyramid. Pyramid. He hosted variations of the classic show Pyramid, known as Ten Thousand Dollar Pyramid, known as the Fifty Thousand Dollar Pyramid, from oh. seventy three to eighty eight. I, I know, I know, I know one that is probably going to be unexpected here. It is Regis Philbin. Regis Philbin was number five on the oh, he Watch was Mojo. Fantastic. Dick Clark was number one on both. Yes. Dick Clark was number one on the Best Life Online and number seven on the Watch Mojo list. Regis number Philbin. one was Bob Barker on okay. the Watch Mojo list. Granted, like the the phenomenon of that show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire when it first came out, but Regis made. I hate to say it, but I think he made the show, and we didn't yeah. really know it. And they say about Regis, though, he was already famous from his daytime talk show, and he briefly hosted other game shows. Regis became a true pop culture phenomenon with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah, he was. And his memorable catchphrase. Um, is that your final answer? Is that your final answer? I thought that was great. Who was the, who was the gal that did, uh, said, uh, you're fired? Um, what, what, no, she was. You're the weakest link. Goodbye. You're the weakest link. Goodbye. That's Ann Robinson. She was number eight on the list. What? <laughs> The weakest link ran for 12 years with her on it. That's right. They the called her the link. British Judge Judy. That's right. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> well, I would be like, you are the weakest link. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> uh, Gene Rayburn from the Ranch Game was number nine. And uh, the Takeshi Kaga from Iron Chef, known as the chairman, mm. was number 10 on that list. Shout-outs to uh, Tom Bergeron from Hollywood Squares. Thank you. Bob Eubanks from Newlywed Game. Alan Ludden from Password. And Peter Marshall from Hollywood Squares. Yeah. Bob Eubanks. That hey. guy had a tan. <laughs> Holy moly. Who's the yeah. dude that did a, a Survivor and Amazing... Was it Anderson Cooper did Amazing Race? Oh, that... Jeff Probst. Yeah. Jeff Probst. He was it, good. Doesn't, isn't he, like, one of the... Hasn't he done, like... Almost the, the most seasons or something because they do multiple survivors. Didn't I read some random fact that he's done like? Who is he does still on it? Amazing Race. No, it's another guy. Jeff Prost is not doing Survivor. No, no, no. Who right. does Amazing Race? It's another guy. Oh, I thought it was Anderson Cooper. No, it kind of looks like him though. No, that you know what he did the uh, the mole. Was it the Anderson mole? Cooper? Yeah, he did one of those. What did really? Bert Convy do when they were throwing tons of those out there? Who Bert Convy? It's Tim and Chris's father. Mole. Yeah, Anderson Cooper hosted the Does mole. anybody remember Burt Convy at like a like a sweet fro? Let me see. Burt Convy. Oh, he did password, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this guy dude was looks on, like he a Barry, did password. Yeah. Looks like and a Barry Manilow stand in. I think he did Pictionary. This is a Barry on. this is oh, a Barry Manilow oh, no, stunt this double. Is, <laughs> this is Where the is man. he from? Yeah. Brentwood? Are the Convies related to this cat? The Convies from next door? Look hit Wikipedia. We'll just assume don't don't research that. We just assume they are. St. Louis' own. It gotta be, right? What? St. Louis' own, baby. I was goofing. Nepo babies. I can't wait to break, rub it in their face. Let's see. Does it Does it have... Oh, look at that. Born in St. Louis, died in Brentwood. Played two uh, years of minor league Los baseball Los for the Philadelphia <laughs> Phillies. Huh. Bird look at that. Had a top ten hit. What? Music. Yeah. Called black C denim Amanda. trousers and motorcycle boots. <laughs> All right, put this him in guys, number one. Look at the onion of Burt Convy. <laughs> He's number one. I, he goes up. Was in Fiddler on the Roof on Broadway. Wow. Oh, a, a true renaissance man. This guy is a renaissance man. Drove an ice cream truck. Oh, my gosh. True. Hosted uh, What's My Line, Password, Super Password. He also was an actor that appeared in a movie called A Bucket of Blood. Match game. <laughs> wow. Well, win, lose, or draw. I remember that one. That's oh what I remember gosh. him from. He did win, lose, or draw? Yeah, that, which I think I was mistaking for Pictionary. That show was cool. Wasn't it basically the same rules? Yes. Win, lose, or draw. Oh, I love it. Good that. game. That was a good game when it came out, dude. People shouting stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, While that, they tried to draw the pictures. I would have to say, in my opinion, Bob Barker is probably the number one game show host of all time. He is. Yeah, and he's another Missouri guy. Or he went to college down in Drury in Springfield. And high school at... At Central. Wow. Uh, Phil that. Keegan is Amazing Race. Or is it Kogan? K-E-O-G-A-N.